Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shini here, and today we are going to continue with our topic that is on Python. So this is my channel. If you haven't subscribed, it, I would recommend strongly to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notifications. So as I have already updated, I'll be uploading videos on all the upcoming tools and technologies like Java, Selenium, Python, API automation, robotic process automation. So this will really help you all in upgrading your skill sets and just go to the next level and do apply for such an jobs which are such a popular in market like selenium automation python programming so just go ahead and subscribe to it and you'll be getting tutorials uh, and i'll be up updating few videos in the coming week so today's topic is going to be on python programming we are going to start with python programming today so in the last lecture we have seen how to install python and how do we verify if python is successfully installed in our machine so we're going to get a step further in this particular session so we we'll look at different editors which we'll be using for doing Python programming. So just to list down a few, we'll be seeing with Notepad. If we do uh, editing, I mean coding in Notepad, how do we compile using Python? Secondly, we are going to see using Eclipse. How is that we can do coding in Eclipse using Python language? So we are going to see which plugin to install for the same. And then we'll look at two other tools which are very good in the market, which you can install specifically only for Python programming. So you can just have a look at that in this particular today's tutorial. So today's tutorial, we are going to briefly see about Eclipse, Notepad, and we can see with Python, Idle. These three topics or techniques, we are going to see how do we do programming with Python. So let's get started. So this is my Eclipse. So I'll just be showing you all now the first way, that is how do we install Python using Eclipse. So you just have to go to help section go to eclipse marketplace so there are a lot of plugins available in this eclipse marketplace for different programming languages so for python we are having a plugin called pydev you just have to click the search pydev and click on search i already have installed in my machine so you can see python ide for eclipse 7.2.0 and you could see it's already installed so it depends upon what you want to install. I have installed PyDev. I feel it's very much you know, convenient to use using Eclipse. So I'll just be showing you all now how do we use this Python Eclipse uh, plugin in Eclipse, right? But this is the first way through Eclipse how we can install Python. Now the other way is that you can just open a notepad. Just open a notepad and you can just do some basic syntax with python so since you all are not aware of any basic uh, programming uh, coding about python so for now i'm just going to give you all a few simple ways of how about python programming goes all, all over right compared to java it's a little bit different so you need to know the syntax of it so in this particular program we are just going to print something that's how we are going to start off a simple program so let's say print right so in python the way it goes about is that you have to have it like a method. Like in Java, we used to say system.out.println. Either use println or use print method after system.out. Right? So that is a syntax we used to use in Java, right? This we used to use this way. Either we can say print and type something here, hello, this is Java. And used to put semicolon, right? In Python, it is a bit different with respect to syntax. Instead of using the system out.print or println, you simply write print whatever you would want to display to the user or in the console. This is Python program. And there is no semicolon to terminate a statement in Python. So there is no need of it. Python is quite intelligent enough in identifying that it's the end of the block or end of the statement. There are certain concepts which we will be looking at into our next tutorial sessions that is indentation topic. So in Python, we go about indentation. That is, if it has to identify that which all statements belong to a particular group or a particular block, then it goes by the indentation rule. That is, go for four spaces. One, two, three, four. That's it. So whatever comes, the statements beneath this line would be a part of this particular group. So if we were to say, let's say, uh, if condition, right? So if condition, I have some condition mentioned here, then if I have to mention a block of statements, which will 
a part of the if statement, I have to start with four indentation, like one, two, three, four. And then whatever follows here, like line one, then you will have line two, again, starting with the same indentation. We have to follow these rules. Then these two lines will be a part of this particular if condition. So that is how we go about with Python. We have indentation rule. And if you don't follow the indentation rule, if there are very much like less indentation given, it will give you a warning. But if it doesn't meet the basic simple criteria of indentation, it will give you a compilation error. It will not compile your program. So that is why we have to be very specific with respect to Python programming. The indentation plays a very key role, right? There is no semicolon here. And we'll look at these if and the other different control statements in a while. We are just going to start off with a simple example here in this particular session. So we just opened a notepad. We have written this particular simple line of statement. We are just going to save it to our desktop. And let's call it as my Python script. We have to keep a note here that when we are saving the file type, it should be all files because we want to save the type as Python. So we would want to give the abbreviation as .py. So .py stands for Python programming language code. Just save it. That's it. So you have written the first basic script in Python. To compile it, there are different ways. And I'll be showing you all, all the ways. Firstly, I'm going to show you all how do we save it in a notepad editor and how do we run this program. So we just have to go to command prompt and write. So I've already told you all earlier that um, you have to just check if Python is installed first in your machine and you have to set the path as well. So you can just look at my previous video on Python programming first session. So if you haven't looked at that, just subscribe to my channel and look at that video and you will be able to understand how to install and how to set the path. So let's see where it is saved. It's saved in the desktop location. So I can just switch to my desktop. Just go to security and just copy this entire path. So switch to desktop. Now I just have to write Python and then I have to mention the name of the file, which is my Python script .py because .py is extension. So it has given you the output. This is Python programming. So it has successfully executed your program and this is the output. This is a very basic program. I just wanted to show you all in this session. How do we run with a notepad editor with Eclipse? And now I'm going to show you the third way that is idle. So Python idle is the third way. So once you install Python, you will be getting this kind of a Python shell, which is called as IDLE. It is called Python idle. And you can just execute whatever statements you would want. When you basically write these statements in a notepad, you can make the same thing using this shell as well. Just write print and just say hello, Java and Python. And there is no semicolon. It is understanding that this is a proper method in Python. That's why you could see it's just doing it in some color and just enter. So it has given you the output. So it's like a dynamic editor kind of a thing. If you would want to do it line by line, you can go for this idle or shell editor. But I would not recommend this because if you would want to have a proper project or a program which has got a lot of statements in it, right? always this Eclipse or a specific IDE for Python will be useful. Or you could go for the notepad if you are very much good in syntax of Python. You can go for notepad or notepad plus plus. These editor tools are always available free of cost. But we are look, going to look at some uh, editor tools which specifically we are going to use for Python. So I'm going to start off with Eclipse now. So once you've installed Python using the Eclipse marketplace, which I've shown you all, just go to file, click on new and click on just the project because we don't see Python project shown here. We are just able to see Java project. So just click on project here and just scroll a bit down. You could see there is option of PyDev whichever plugin we have installed now for PyDev, just expand it. And you could see here that we have this PyDev project as an option. Just select it, click on next. Give it a name. So we are going to start a new series on Python. So I'm going to create a project of Python. So 
so it is saying project interpreter not specified so we have to give the name of the interpreter so we've created a project here python tutorials but if you see here that we have to first configure an interpreter before proceeding that is the error being given and we have to just go ahead and do that as a first step to this particular project creation so click on this link and just go for this manual config option i'll show you all how to do that so you would see such a kind of screen appearing in front of you about python interpreters so you have to add a python interpreter which will be able to see so it is giving the name as well for you to understand what is the meaning of python interpreter python.exe is what it is expecting you to add here so you have to click on new just give it the name as python and you have to add the path of your python interpreter just browse to your path wherever you have installed python and just go till this particular path you have to just browse this path of python.exe click on okay and it is successfully will be able to import the different libraries and packages automatically you just have to click on okay and it will do its part and just click on apply and close so it will just take care of doing the other background part yeah so it's successfully configured now and just select this python option from the drop down okay so let's just create a different project name since the other project is already available so we've given a new name now as python tutorials 1 and just click on next click on finish this kind of project is associated with pydev perspective because we have installed pydev and it is actually a perspective of python so it will be basically launching in this kind of a logo perspective let's open that so remember this decision so let's open in python perspective and click on finish yeah so you could see here this python kind of a symbol has basically opened up and you could now see on the left hand side pydev package explorer so it's not going to be similarly like how java is it's going to be somewhat this way it's having a different uh, way of organizing your files this is how you could see it has created a project now how do we create the first code in this particular ide right so we are just going to see a very basic program in this ide first and next session we will see with other tutorials how to how we can install in different ides so let's create a new pydev so you can see here there is a pydev module and there is a pydev package See, I'm just going to explain you all the basics, a very basic level of how to use in this particular Eclipse. So I'll just explain you what are these two terms. Pydev package is similar to our Java package. The symbol also, if you see, it's same. And this Pydev module is similar to like a Java file. So we call it as a module in Java, sorry, in Python. That's a Pydev module here. So we are just going to create a package first and let's call it as basics of Python. We're going to create a package. Yeah. So uncheck setting that should not be changed. Yeah, you can just go for cancelling it. Yeah, so it has basically created a program within this basics Python automatically with .py. You can rename this file. It's up to you. You can rename this file. You can say basics.py. Yeah. And now I'm going to shift write the simple command. Right. That's it. No need to do any uh, semicolon at the end. Just run this program using this run option. You can just run as Python run. And you can see that in the console it has printed the output. So this was a very basic example using Eclipse IDE, how we can configure Python and how we can run it. So hope you like today's tutorial. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would strongly recommend to subscribe it. In the next session, we are going to look at the different IDEs which are very uh, very much useful in the market like Anaconda and PyCharm. So I'll let you all know how to install that and how to write simple scripts in the next tutorial series. And then we'll be looking at the basics of Python with variables and different other concepts. So stay tuned and do watch my channel. Thank you so much.